What's up everybody? Thank you for stopping by my channel today. My name is Daryl and we have a big closet update for you today. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I've been up to. Well, as you can see, I made quite a bit of progress from the last time that uh, you saw this. So in the last video, I stained the face frame uh, I did not show myself putting the clear coat on or installing this. It was just too difficult to try to maneuver the camera around and show you what I was doing. So I'll just talk about it. So it is installed and it looks really nice. I like it a lot. Um, if you can see right up here at the ceiling line, it's really nice up there. My gaps are good. Now there's some trim that goes across here and across here and you can see some of it over here you can see that trim well that comes down that'll come down here and then over here we've got it off and then it, I need to put that back in now I don't really care for that trim butting up against my corner up there and it's also going to be like that down here for the baseboard but it is what it is and I'll deal with it but that's it installed. So let's talk about what else I did. Okay. You can see that I made this bracket to go around and it serves two purposes. One, to hold the, the bar for, the, for your uh, hangers and two, to support a shelf. Now the shelf I have not built yet. Uh, I'm gonna start that tomorrow. And I'll build a shelf, and then that part of it will be done also. So it's looking really good right now. Uh, so far, no real mistakes on this project, and I'm crossing my fingers I can get through the whole thing without any anything, uh, so, you know, popping up or surprising me that I didn't uh, consider. And, you know, when you buy when you build these things, you never know what you might run into. So so far, no surprises. Uh, the one thing that I did learn, one of the things that I did learn from this was I put all these pocket holes in here to, to give myself some place to screw to, uh, you know, to, to uh, attach this face frame. Well, on this wall in particular, uh, the way this is set up over here, we're real close to the edge. My, the, end, the edge of my plywood is real close to the edge of this, and it would not bite into that. So uh, I've always planned on putting blocking in here the whole way up to support my hinges for my door. Uh, so that will give me something to screw this to over here. Now on this side over here, it worked well um, because you know my plywood is right about right here and it, it screwed in real nice to this and you know, I don't have any gaps at all up in here. It's, it turned out really nice and uh, it looks real good. So that's where I'm at there. Uh, of course, then I had pocket holes and in, in, underneath all these different shelves or all these different, uh, uh, you know, dividers. And that gave me some place to screw this right to. So this whole face frame is removable. So I'm the type of person that I don't like to try to tape this area when I paint. So if I can just remove this face frame and do my painting and then reinstall it, that will work out for me. So... That's why I did it this way. So what do I have else? Uh, what else do I need to uh, talk about as far as things I've learned? Well, definitely those pocket holes over here did not work. So if I ever do one of these again that's butted up against the wall like this, I will not do the pocket holes over there. So what do I have left to do? I need to build a light. I need to figure out what's going in this transom area. I need to build the doors. For here there's going to be two doors and I need to do the drawer make the drawer boxes and then the drawer fronts so this is a shaker design it's pretty minimal there's not a whole lot of fancy stuff with it but it will look good when it's done uh, now that I have this face frame in I can put this floor back in again and then I'm going to just put some temporary uh, a baseboard in here like uh, the rest of the house has for now but in the end, all the woodwork in this room here is going to be the same. And it's going to be natural wood. It's not going to be painted. I'm not a big 
fan of painting uh, woodwork. I don't care how expensive the house is. I like, I really like natural wood. You can see it looks nice and it's gonna be here forever. So this is definitely gonna outlive me and uh, hopefully give whoever owns this house way in the future uh, years and years of good service. So, so my next step is I'm gonna, I guess I'll start working on that, uh, that shelf tomorrow and then also put this floor back. This is a very cheap floor. They put this floor in when, it looked like when they were gonna sell the place, they kind of put a real cheap floor in. So when I built the cabinet down here, let me squat down a little bit. Uh, this section of the rail here is, is a little thicker than you w I would have done. And I could, uh, the rest of it, you know, everything, like these, these uh, styles, they're three inches wide. This is a little wider than, I think, I, I think that's three and a half inches wide. And the reason why is because the new floor is going to be about a half inch higher than this. So that'll, once the new floor goes in, that'll give me three inches of rail, three inches of style, and that'll, that'll even it all out. So it's just a little bit taller. And you can see that down here, down over here, we're right on the floor, and this is how far out my floor is over here. So I put screws on the bottom of that. I don't know if you can see the shiny screw under there. To lift to be able to, for me to lift it up instead of shoving shim, shims under there I just uh, unscrewed screwed a screw in there and then unscrewed it when I got it matched up to the ceiling up there and so we're all level we're all plumb and that's what I did to uh, get that level and plumb so you can see the floor is a bit out over here but when I get the new floor and you won't be able to tell because I will take care of that so, the next time I make a video on this, we're either going to be making uh, the light or we're going to be making drawer boxes, most likely. But I wanted to come out here today to try to give you an idea of where I'm at with this. And I can't always make videos. I, I don't, uh, this channel is really not a how-to kind of channel. Um, sometimes I do things that are how-tos, but uh, mostly it's just a vlog about what I'm doing and showing you what's going on with my life. So anyway, oh, one other thing. When I was putting this uh, this in, you have to you know test it out before you screw any screws in. So I set it up in there, and like my this is my one of my winter jackets, and you can see that I have some room down here for this jacket, but my wife has this longer jacket. And I wanted to make sure that anybody who came in with a, like a knee length jacket could hang it in there without it touching down here. I don't want anything folded under, you know, folded underneath because, because this uh, rod wasn't up high enough. So I got her longest jacket and, you know, hung it up there and we kind of got a height out of that. So it's, it's still really nice for me to be able to come in and grab these and take them off. So. And then I thought, me, well, maybe I have some room up in here that I put maybe a couple of hooks up there for hats or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I kind of like to use as much of this as I possibly can. But anyway, let me turn this light off over here. We'll kind of take another look at it from afar. But you can see it's looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah, used to be a, this used to be an old... Uh, entryway for the house I found out and then uh, they turned it into a closet and now I'm turning it into this so that's where I'm at all right how's that look huh it's looking pretty good I love natural wood in my last house I uh, I made one of these built-ins way a way bigger built-in than this actually it was two separate built-ins uh, right next to each other and uh if you look on my Instagram, actually, if you look on my Facebook page, uh, coconutwoodworking.com, or .com, Coconut Woodworking at, on Facebook, um, I think I got a picture, or maybe it may be the main photo of that work uh, is on there. So, And then I also have an Instagram account, too. Uh, if you look in the comments, 
or like the information section of this video, you'll see the two different links to those pages uh, to kind of see what other things I've done and, and that building too. So anyway, that's a kind of an update for, for what I have done so far. And like I said, the next videos will be of the drawer boxes most likely or the line or whatever I decide to do next. And we'll keep this project moving. So anyway, thank you for being here today and uh, hope to see you back soon. And, you know, cross my fingers, I'll get this thing done in the near future because it's just been going on and on and on. But like I said before, I only work on this when I have the free time. So we are now at a point where we can hang our jackets up in there. So my wife is happy about that. And I kind of am too because we were hanging them downstairs and it's kind of a pain when you need something to go on down there and get it. But now they'll be right here at our disposal. So, so that's where we're at. So anyway, thank you for being here today. And uh, we'll catch you again real soon. Bye.